Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you this 2017 17 plate Mercedes-Benz E220 AMG line automatic finished in white. First things first, we're going to zoom out and do a quick walk around of the vehicle. Then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the car once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest as we use them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop and we give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. Now we're getting back around to the start, I'm going to zoom back in and we'll look at the car panel by panel, pointing out any marks, scratches, blemishes if there are any. Uh, might be a little bit rushed because it's starting to rain and I want to show you the car dry. So the near side front wing looks in good condition, the uh, near side door looks good and the near side rear quarter looks good. Near side front alloy, nice condition alloy but we do have the light corrosion to the diamond cut face. All alloys are the same, I will just say straight away, uh, nice condition but light corrosion as I said. However, they can be fully refurbished with a fresh diamond cut at uh, cost, at minimum cost to us if the customer requests it. So the near side front tyres are high-end hand cut with approximately 5mm. Moving down the near side, the uh, panel work down the near side is in good condition. Very light scuff to the Maxton splitter kit that's installed. But the panel works of the car itself are in nice condition. Near side rear alloy, as I've already stated, the same. Near side rear tyres, another high-end hand cut with approximately three or four mil remaining. Looking back down the near side now, from rear to front, the near side rear quarter looks good, near side door looks good, and the near side front wing looks good as well. Moving around the rear of the car now, we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. Near side bumper corner looks good. Again, Maxton splitter kit around the rear. Then, that looks like where somebody's drilled the uh, number plate there. Full sensors on this car and we've got the wide view rear camera that I'll show you once we get inside. Very light mark, I think we'll buff off the swage line in the offside corner there but the rest of the bumper looks in good condition. Tail lights and tailgate look in good condition. Rear screen looks good, we've got um, black privacy glass all the way around the rear and along the uh, roof linings in good condition as well. Looking down the offside of the car now from rear to front, the offside rear quarter looks good. Offside door looks good and the offside front wing looks good as well. Offside rear alloy again the same. Offside rear tyre high end hand cut 3 or 4mm remaining. Moving down the offside again panel work is in nice condition. Offside front alloy probably the nicest of the four. Offside front tyre another matching high end hand cut with approximately 5mm. Looking back down the offside now from front to rear the offside front wing looks good. Offside door looks in nice condition and the offside rear quarter looks good as well. Moving around the front of the car now, I'm going to check out all lights and grills and the front bumper itself. All lights and grills as you can see are in good condition. And as for the age and mileage of the car, the front bumper is in nice condition as well. One or two light marks that we'll touch up the best we can prior to sale. Other than that, looks good. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. If I get nice and low you can see the condition of it. No major dents, scratches or anything like that. Paintwork does look in good condition. As for touch-ups wise, there's only one or two at the front. Again, we'll get these polished up and touched in the best we can prior to sale. Before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. I haven't seen any major damage on this screen. Uh, one or two light surface markings, but no chips, cracks or anything like that. So good condition. Now we're going to make our way through the interior, starting in the boot. Decent sized boot on these E220s, I'll just try and zoom out to make it a little bit clearer. All carpets and plastics other than light wear and tear look in good condition. And then all the plastics underneath the boot lid itself as well, other than light wear and tear looks in nice condition. Now we're going to make our way through the interior. Front door cards look in good condition. We've got the Mercedes-Benz kick plates, front carpets look good. And there you have the front half and half leather cloth seats, bolster still firm, holding their shape. One tiny, tiny bit of wear. I'm being very picky on that driver's seat there. They are electronically controlled driver's seats. Oh, sorry, both front seats electronically controlled, as you can see. Rear bench, we've got two factory headrests, two three-point seat belts, ice fix fittings to both rear seats, and two usable cup holders between them both. As you can see, both in really nice condition, no excessive wear. Back to both front seats and the rear carpets are in nice condition as well. Jumping in, passenger seat is just as nice as the drivers, if not slightly better. 
no signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. The interior styling's really nice. Closing the door behind us, we'll start the car up and run you through as much of the spec as we can. Full electronic windows with electronic adjustable and power folding side mirrors. Central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle. Moving up, as you can see, we've got the interior ambient lighting. We've got uh, front heated seats, and this button here is to control the passenger side heated seats from the driver's side of the car. Automatic lights and wipers in this car. Moving across, we've got cruise control and a speed limiter on the stalk underneath the indicators, and just behind it, as you can see, push button start. Up the center console, we've got the full leather armrest, all the MMI controls in the center that I'll run through the best I can in a moment. Two usable cup holders hidden away with a 12 volt socket just under here. Again, more MMI controls that I'll run through in a moment. Analog clock, dual air conditioning, recirculation, rear heated screen, all the controls in the center. Up to the MMI, as you can see, we've got DAB and FM radio. We do have Bluetooth audio in this car, satellite navigation. Once I can get it to uh, show you the map so you can see it properly. and full telephone prep and we've got full parking sensors optical display and as you can see wide angle rear camera as well as standard half and half back over to the driver's side we'll finish off this flat bottom and leather bound multi-function amg steering wheel with the updated touch sensitive swipe controls and optional flappy paddles. This car is on 67,463 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thank you very much.